Hey, good Saturday morning. I'm meteorologist Molly Matat. We're looking at the almanac from yesterday. We are back below average, way below average. Yesterday was a cool one. We were 11 degrees below where we should be at 65 and even 65 for some people is on the cool side thinking, oh, there's a little bit of a chill in the air. That chill is becoming a little bit more prominent, especially as we start this below average trend that we're going to keep through at least the first half of the weekend. The real killers are the overnight lows. We dipped to 40 degrees last night when we woke up on Saturday morning. We were at 39 degrees. That's the first time we have dropped below the 40 degree mark in 163 days. Last time we were below 40 degrees was early on April 23rd. So we're starting to see all the signs of the transition to the fall season. It's a chilly Saturday. There will be some small showers around mainly to the south of Syracuse. A few rogue ones may make their way north of I-90, but even if they do, they won't be very much more than a nuisance. Clouds are going to move in pretty quickly and block our sunshine, making for a chilly day only in the upper 50s. A little bit warmer near the lakeshore, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But Joe Quinn, or I'm sorry, Joaquin, not Joe Quinn. I've been mispronouncing it all week. Um, it's a tricky one, and it was a tricky forecast as well. Luckily, it's moving out to sea, and it's not going to directly impact our forecast, but we're going to see some subtle changes as we go through the weekend and into next week. And then it is a quiet stretch of weather. It's cool. It's mostly cloudy, but overall, we're going to stay mainly dry through the rest of the work week. Here's the current clouds and radar, and this is what we're watching, this tropical stream of moisture that's stretching up from the Atlantic. It was along the coastline, and now you can see it's starting to bend a little bit. This is in part because Joaquin is starting to make its way into the northern Atlantic and it's creating some changes that's allowing what was the stationary front to become mobile again and start to sweep into central New York. The good news is that most of these are going to stay to the south of Syracuse and impact Cortland and Tompkins counties. But again, like I said, a few showers may make their way up to the north. After this, high pressure moves in. It's going to keep us nice and quiet until a weak cold front passes through on Wednesday, bringing some light showers. Here's the future cast for today and tomorrow. We start off at 8 a.m. Maybe some breaks of sunshine up to the north. That will allow them to warm up just a little bit more than us. But as we head throughout the day, we're going to stay on the cool side. That's in part because these clouds are going to move in, but also because of a northerly and northeasterly breeze. That's going to keep us on the cool side, but up near the shoreline, that's going to take that warm Lake Ontario air and bring it to the shore, keeping them probably in the low 60s as we head throughout today. You see those showers try to make their way into Syracuse, but the dry air prevails keeping us dry and mostly cloudy as we head throughout the day. It'll be another cool night in the 40s as well. So here's your hometown forecast for today. Maybe some breaks of sunshine, but clouds are going to take over pretty quickly in the immediate Syracuse area. Over in the Finger Lakes, clouds will prevail and maybe some showers, particularly in the south near Ithaca, Dryden, and Homer. They'll stay in the 40s because of that extra cloud cover. Same deal for the southern tier in the 50s in Norwich and Hamilton. As we head towards the shore, look at how that Lake Ontario air keeps Oswego, Mexico, and and Pulaski on the warm side in the 60s, everyone else in the upper 50s. Same deal for the uh, North Country. They're going to see some more breaks of sunshine that will keep them on the warm side. So we're going to track Joaquin for you because it's just now exiting the Bahamas. It was a Category 4, first Category 4 storm to hit the Bahamas in over 50 years. As we put it into motion, all of the models now are tracking this way out to sea. It's not going to impact central New York at all. In fact, it may just add a few clouds into our forecast that you can see on the seven day. We're going to keep a few mostly cloudy days in the forecast, but overall we are nice and dry. Fair weather high pressure takes over after a slightly unsettled and cool day today. We warm up to 67 before a weak cold front moves through on Wednesday with just some isolated showers. Next best shot for rain comes closer to next weekend.